My guest today is a legend in the world of sports, one of the most accomplished football players his country has ever produced. Now representing his people's struggle to resist Russia's aggression. Mr. Andrei Shevchenko, thank you very much for speaking to your news. My first question is, you come from a world of uh, successes and victories. You rocked the world of football. And today you're here to talk about uh, a country facing destruction and displacement. Had you ever thought that you would be in this position, that this would happen to your country? Yeah, it's hard to believe. But it's true that the everything started is in 2014 that uh, the first annex of Crimea, the war in um, Donetsk, uh, that was the first part of the conflict. I still remember uh, like two weeks before, I was speaking a lot to my family, I was speaking to my sister, to my mom. We was considered, you know, talking about what we're gonna do. But I couldn't believe in my family saying no, it's, 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 it's impossible, you know, we, we don't believe it can happen. Uh, we, we saw the, the United States Embassy, the Italian, all, all European embassies start to move away from, uh, from, from Kiev, from Ukraine, and uh, that was we we start to really worry about. Uh, at the war, when the war started, uh, in the morning on 24, I have a phone call from my mom. And then immediately when I, I saw my, my mom calling me, I realized that something very bad happened. And I answered the phone and I heard my mom voice. She was crying and saying, the war is stopped. That was and the, the most difficult probably time in my life. Since that, you know, uh, so everything changed for us, and then hard to believe for me. I, the sport had never been touched, really, to political to to war. I always start to be away from the the conflict because the sport have a different message for people, mm. bring people together, united people together, and uh, no aggression. Uh, the fair play is very important. The world of sports has also been affected by this war. It's been quite um, extraordinary to see how he has responded. We have seen um, Russian teams and athletes being banned from competitions or being allowed to compete under strict neutrality rules. Um, many analysts are saying that Russia's invasion of Ukraine has forced the world of sports to pick a side to become more political. Do you agree with that? And do you think that that is important right now? Of course, like I said, the sport have a such a strong message uh, to, uh, especially to the young people, young generation, also to, to the world. We, we're standing together we're against the aggression and the FIFA UEFA been very strong in his decision to ban it all the Russian uh, teams from any competition, Russian clubs from any competition since the war started and that was the clear message and I absolutely agree with that. Many have been criticizing Russian athletes for not coming forward and speaking out against the war. What do you say about that? Do you think that there should be more Russian athletes out there today campaigning against this invasion? I'm not judge the people, you know, we're all, we're all very different, but uh, I think if you're strong, strong people, if you want to live uh, your life, it would be fair to yourself and uh, you should express your opinion. We all have to stand together, speak loud and always be together to against this aggression. We've seen an extraordinary response to the millions of people who have been displaced, uh, many of whom have had to leave Ukraine. In Europe, there's been an extraordinary willingness to help these people, to host them, which has been quite different from the reaction to people coming from other crises, like 
Syria or other parts of the Middle East. Did you feel that way? Did you notice that? To be honest with you, I think uh, it's only when this, uh, this situation touch you personally, you know, you start to think a lot about that. And I'm sure, you know, the, the best way to, uh, we have to worry about this uh, conflict, this situation more, and uh, the world have to react immediately. You know, it's, for me, it's, uh, I can see that the future, we have to stand together, immediately react to this aggression, any aggression in the world. Do you have a message? to the people of Ukraine, um, some of whom are athletes like you and have um, dropped everything, abandoned their old lives and now are fighting with weapons against Russia. And to the people of the world that know you very well for your victories and for your beautiful career, um, about the importance of not forgetting Ukraine, of not uh, looking away from this conflict. My, my message to the world that uh, uh, is of more than six months since the war started. And of course, the awareness about the war is like waves, is going on and off. But my message is the war is there. The situation is very critical. And every day, the people losing the homes, every day, the people losing the the house, it lives, in it, it need a lot of help. And don't be indifferent, you know. I know uh, many of you been helped already a lot, and then I want to thank everyone for that. But I also know the Ukraine need more help. And please, you know, don't be different. Also for my people, we, we've been always together and uh, I'm gonna go in Ukraine soon. And uh, my message is always Slava Ukraine. Andrei Chevchenko, thank you very much for speaking to your news. Thank you.